Hey guys, welcome back to the video. In this video, you guys, my spoiler free review for Theater Camp. Theater Camp follows the eccentric and over the top staff of a New York theater camp battling their neighboring camp as their well known founder falls into a coma. This movie releases in theaters on July 14th, and it did premiere at Sundance earlier this year, and it's sitting at an 82% on Rotten Tomatoes right now. On top of all of this, it's another mid budget comedy movie that we've gotten here in 2023 from No Hard Feelings to The Blackening to another movie that comes out very soon, Joyride. We've had a bunch of mid budget comedy movies this year and so far they've all been great to me and theater camp is no different this movie hits on pretty much all levels and before i get into all of my thoughts on the movie if you've seen or want to check out theater camp let me know what you think about it in the comments down below and be sure to the subscribe and notification on cinemas any of my other movie reviews for all the other summer movies coming out in the next few months without wasting any more time let's get right into all of my thoughts on theater camp but i want to start off by talking about my favorite aspect of this entire movie and that is the cast i only knew one actor in this entire movie this this movie stars Molly Gordon, Ben Platt, Jimmy Tatro, and Noah Galvin, as well as some other amazing child actors and actresses that are all hilarious. Now, I found out who Molly Gordon was after I watched it because I'm also a big fan of The Bear, and she plays the main character's love interest in season two of The Bear, and she is also amazing in the show. Molly Gordon also co-directs this movie with Nick Lieberman, so she's doing a lot for this film, and even just as an actress in the film, she does so much, but the direction is on a whole other level, which I'll talk about later in this video. But the one actor that I did know going into this movie was Jimmy Tatro and the thing is I didn't watch a single trailer for this movie I walked into the theater not even knowing what movie I was watching and then Jimmy Tatro showed up on screen I was like oh my god I recognize him from Real Bros of Simi Valley. Yo do you know how to work uh Uber? And then you just hit confirm. Confirm. Yeah. Yo who the f is this fool Davis on the way to my crib? He's probably your driver. Oh, word. Sick. Also, if you haven't seen Real Buzz of Simi Valley, I 100% recommend it. It's one of the funniest shows I've seen. It's like a short show type of thing. Every episode is like 15 to 30 minutes long. It's on Facebook. It's one of the funniest things I've ever seen. But that does kind of translate into the comedy aspect of this movie because, as you guys know, I have a very weird sense of humor. I will laugh at the stupidest things ever. If you make enough fart jokes, I will laugh at them. But I think why the comedy works here so well is because everyone and everything about this film is so eccentric. And honestly, to every one of these characters, it's like the end of the world. And so you feel like when you're put into these shoes, you automatically care for every single aspect that they care about. And then that leads into the comedic aspects. Jimmy Tatro doesn't really do anything different than he did in Real Bros of Simi Valley. You know, the joke style is very much the same, but the delivery is a little bit different because they're focused on the emotional aspect of it. But where Molly Gordon, Ben Platt, Noah Galvin, and a bunch of these other child actors and actresses come in is they bring that theater camp element to it. I've never been a part of any sort of theater thing, so I didn't have any previous experience or any knowledge of what a theater camp is or how it goes about. But I think I felt so connected because all of the relationships between the actors and actresses, whether they were the children that were at theater camp or the super eccentric workers and staff at the theater camp, everyone meshed really, really well in the in the chemistry was just off the charts. Again, on a comedic level, it's definitely gonna be hit or miss. It's definitely a little little bit of more of a childish humor but I'm not gonna lie that's what works for me and so this just made me laugh a lot and it honestly had my entire theater laughing so it wasn't just me now the movie is pg-13 and they don't make any absolutely insane jokes but I feel like people are gonna inherently think oh it's theater camp it's about just a kids camp so it's not gonna be any like crazy comedy or anything like that but I do feel like comedy does push a little bit of the boundaries of it's not very safe comedy any by any means especially towards the end they make some absolutely vile jokes but I I think they were really funny and they had my entire theater laughing. But another element of this movie that I absolutely loved, and honestly, I think it's why it solidifies it as such a great film for me, is the visuals because I have such a bias here, but it's shot like a documentary, most notably like The Office with just always a shaky camera. They barely have any big wide tripod shots. Like it's never locked off stuff. Like it's very handheld and it just makes you feel like you're within the action. I mentioned the show a little bit earlier, but The Bear does a very similar thing. They have great cinematography from a wide angle perspective, but whenever they really get into the nitty gritty of the characters, they have cameras above their shoulders or super far away with the zoom lens and you feel like you're right in the character's face. 90, okay. So AC, yes. HVAC. So we are at 85. Ha mm. <laughs> ha, no, just kidding. 95, 95 K. When you have a whole movie shot like that, the tension is always so high and that also really fixes the pacing of everything, at least inherently for me. The 
visual style automatically creates great pacing for me. And I think that's why this handheld documentary style of filming is some of my favorites in movies. And it also really catches me off guard, especially in a movie theater. Another movie that came out this year that was really well done by just word of mouth was Blackberry. And it was also shot exactly like this film. They do an amazing job of just making it feel like you're in that environment. And like I said before, I've never been in a theater camp environment, but along with the relationships that the actors and actresses bring to the story, you also have that visual element that makes everything just feel a little bit more cohesive, to be honest. Listen up, squad, game, maybe uh, zip it. Could we just get you guys to shoot? Oh, what a beautiful Oh. I didn't know much about this movie going in, so I'm not going to spoil any story points for you guys. But the way that this movie kind of branches off by the end, I think it works. I think emotionally it works really, really well. But a lot of people are just going to find it stupid. And it does have that skit sense of humor by the end of it. It definitely has an emotional element, especially with Molly Gordon and Ben Platt's characters. They have an amazing emotional arc. And a lot of the emotion in this movie does have a great message behind it. It just does feel like the overall conclusion of the movie movie feels very YouTube skit like and it's not very as serious as you may think. But again, for me personally, it came together in yes, a cheesy and corny way, but it was also very funny and hilarious. And again, some of this stuff was really dumb, but I, I enjoyed it. I had a really fun time with it. I think as a whole, the reason I love this movie so much is because it takes so many of my favorite elements and meshes it into one movie. Because even at times it does feel like a skit, I still find those jokes and those moments and those story points very, very funny. So it works for me. When it comes to theater camp, I'm gonna give this movie an 8.5 out of 10, bordering a nine for me. And I will probably rewatch this when it comes out in theaters on July 14th. Again, if you've seen or watched it out theater camp, let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.